The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while later and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father, so they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me? Amen, amen, I say to you. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will be become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 1917, the apparitions of a lady of Fatima. Today we celebrate that beautiful memory and action of God's word, uh, wonderful mercy on earth through a lady uh, in Fatima, right? So in this church, we have a particular corner that I call the Marian Corner that is down there. If you haven't visited, it's good for you to come and visit it. And we have the child Mary, right? So from the beginning, it's consecrated to God in these precious uh, hands of our, uh, his, her mom and, and devoted to Christ, devoted to Jesus, devoted to God entirely in her life. And then we have the stained glasses with those beautiful actions that God has given us as a proof that we can do it, that we can achieve heaven, that we can be crowned by his glory, his mercy. As we have um, Mary in the upper room with the disciples of the Pentecost scene in, in the stained glasses. And then we have the coronation of Mary. And then we have Mary with Jesus taken down from the cross. So beautiful for us to visit that place, that corner, and to just to pray with Mary, as we are called Our Lady of the Presentation Church. It's good for us to have always this in our minds and in our hearts, the action of God, God's word, uh, wonderful mercy and love through Mary. How do we consecrate to Mary every day? And then Our Lady crowned with the, with the, with the child Jesus, and then in the back in the church, we have Our Lady of Fatima crowned up there. So it's good for us to always remember the words of Mary in the Gospel of John. Do whatever Jesus is asking you to do. And also what the apparitions of Our Lady is, has to tell us, right? Pray without ceasing and pray for the conversion of all souls. Pray for the Holy Father and for the Holy Catholic Church. So let us remember that today and through this whole day, uh, just ask the Lord Jesus to be with us, to protect us, and that we may follow the example of Mary. And if you have the time and opportunity today or every uh, other day, just visit that corner and contemplate the mysteries of our redemption through Mary. How God in, grac in graciousness has given us a mother, which is who is king, uh, queen uh, of heavens and earth. Amen. Amen.